Disclaimer, in order to make this video PG and not R-rated because of the number of times that I say fudge, I'm going to be using this sound effect Baga! in place of all of my swores because it seems appropriate and I don't want to get in trouble. I've liked anime since I was a wee little lad. Girl, what's the female version of lad? Lassie or lass? Since I was a wee lass, I enjoyed shows such as Sailor Moon, Cardcaptor Sakura, and Pokemon. Spirited Away and Castle in the Sky gave me life, and I wanted more. It was sixth grade, and I discovered things such as bullies, pimples, and boobs. I also discovered the magical world of manga. Anime in book form? that I could sneak into the sixth period and read under my desk? Hundreds of anime drawings within my grasp at any given moment? Yes, please. The student library had a little bookshelf packed full of the goods that I craved and I went for it. Full send, if you will. I think that phrase might already be over. And there were a few hidden gems that I found in the vast manga world that I believe need a larger audience. So without further ado, here are three mangas I believe need more fans. First up, plus anima. Yes, plus anima. Not anime, plus anima. I'll be redrawing panels from each series, so this will be the one that I redraw from these books. This was my first manga. So yes, I know I'm biased, but damn, I was hooked. The premise is that there are some people in the world that bear magical powers that resemble that of animals. These people are referred to as anima. The series follows a young boy named Koro, who has the power to sprout wings from his back like a crow. He's a bit of a glutton and more than a bit of a dum-dum, but pretty quickly he runs into a new pal Husky, who's a fish anima, and looks mighty fine as one too. Husky's a big grumpy grump that's pretty much constantly tired of Koro's bullshit Baga! and is often mistaken for a wee lass while in fact being a wee Baga! asshole. Or, I mean, a lad. The duo make two more buddies, Senri, a bear anima, and Nana, or Nana, a bat anima. The four become a little team of downright misfits and stumble around the land solving crimes and eating various foods. Shenanigans and shindigs ensue, and I won't go into much more detail because I love the books and I don't want to spoil them. All I'll say is that Nana is kind of the mom of the group despite being one of, if not the youngest, and Senri, well, oh no, what the fuck? <laughs> Senri, what the absolute Baga! This manga has been near and dear to my heart for a heck of a long time, and I love to reread it on occasion. It makes me slightly emo to Google fan art and find that barely anyone knows about the books, so I'd love to spread more awareness on the series. While it's pretty childish, I liken it to My Little Pony in the way that it takes some difficult topics such as racism and trauma and turns it into something easy for children to digest. Similar to My Little Pony, it's taught me some very important lessons such as when and when not to trust others and how to be a caring friend. That and the characters are pretty damn adorable. I have to say it's worth it just because of some of the art and outfit designs. All in all, I think it's a good story and just some good books and I think that it's worth it just to pick up at least the first one. Alrighty, there's my recreation. Let's move on to the next one. The next manga is titled Meteor Prince, and it follows a girl named Hako, a student with some of the worst luck I've ever seen. We get introduced to her just as her friends are, I believe, trying to summon Satan and end up creating a passageway that interrupts a handsome alien's travels and sends him crashing down to Earth very much naked. I was in fact the love interest in this series and immediately latches himself onto Hako, explaining that she is his soulmate and one true queen. Hako's mission is to try to get this attractive dumb Baga! back to where he belongs while still being the sweet little girl that she is. While Io's mission is to flatter the Baga! shit out of her until she gives in to being his mate. It's an adorable love story that I remember rolling around my bed and squealing at while I wished a pretty and talented alien would beam themselves down and ask me to be their bride. But thankfully, I didn't try to summon anything. The series is two books long, so short and sweet, but definitely not less powerful. I fell in love with the characters and their problems, and I rooted for them the whole way through. I want to say right now that the art of this manga is adorable, and I could spend all day looking at it. I've reread the books countless times and I'll never get enough of it. It's really a shame that it has such a small following. Mecha Tanaka is kind of a genius and I love how well she weaved the story and the characters in it. So if you guys want to give it a try, I'd totally recommend it. It's a really good book series. Okay, there's the second panel, on to the next manga. 
The last manga is Classmates, or I believe Dokusei in Japanese, as Google Translate has informed me. This series has a bit more of a following, probably due to the fact that it has a short movie in the same style and with the same title. This story follows Seiju Rito and Hikaru Kusukabe. Keep in mind that I have no idea how these are pronounced, and I apologize. These two boys are classmates in an all-boys school that initially take notice of each other in choir. Hikaru plays guitar in a band, and Seijo is a nerdy teacher's pet. They practice their class song together, and Hikaru finds himself subconsciously casting feelings. There's an initial kiss that is pretty dang embarrassing, and their relationship unfolds from there. This story is such a sweet take on young love and high school relationships, and it's a breath of fresh air from a lot of other same-sex love stories. The issues they run into are realistic problems that I and many others have dealt with in relationships. It's a straightforward love story that sends you through all the emotions a confused teen might have, but it spits you out on the other side with a happy heart and a warm fuzzy feeling. The movie only deals with the first book in the series, but I do encourage anyone interested to go watch it. I'm a big fan of the animation style and the voice actors do a really good job with the characters. I love Higuru's fluffy hair. Alright guys, I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded and I apologize. University hit me like a rock and I could hardly find time to breathe. I'm going to go ahead and leave the links to all these mangas down below. If any of you give them a read or watch classmates, do let me know and tell me how you like them. My Instagram and Tumblr are linked down below, so if you feel the urge to doodle any of these characters yourself, I'd love to see it if you want to DM or add me. I'd love to begin the next video with your guys' art, so if you guys want to send me anything else you do, that'd be awesome. I'll stay healthy and creative.